I got this going. It's going very good. There's good sound to it. There's eight magnets here and eight magnets on this rotor. And it's making AC because I have the magnets staggered. So it's north here and then north here and then north here and north here. It's making AC. Uh, going 1800 RPM and the draw is quite good. It's drawing 70 milliamps just spinning it and this is with uh, a 120 volt 60 hertz grid coming into it. This is interesting I have a 4 UF run cap. Let's say I go down to a 3 3 UF run cap. Here's 3 UF instead of 4. Well, stays the same, I guess. But let's do a 5. 5 UF run cap. Goes up to 10. Let's try a 2. Here's a 2 UF run cap. With no run cap at all, it goes up to 170. With a 2 UF run cap, it's 110. So, I would say a 4 UF run cap is what this likes. 70 milliamps. And... Maybe a three. Let's try a three again. Sorry, this is kind of boring. Okay, here's a three. Still 70, so a three or a four. UF run cap. Now, with this run cap, this, I put in a new scatter plate. The one I showed yesterday that really spun nice with black sand cores, little tiny cores, kind of. This was this did really crappy performance. It was only 420 milliamps and four volts was all. I had quite a big air gap, and the coils don't didn't line up with the magnets exactly. And I'm probably gonna chuck that scatter plate in the garbage. But this one's nice. This one has bifiler coils. So I have essentially two separate circuits. I can put them in parallel, these two wires, and make more amps, or put them in series, make more voltage. And it's from one of these, it's 42 volts. One half of the bifiler, I'm getting 42 volts to AC, and so if I put them in series, I'll have 84 volts. And uh, let's do a quick lens test. I'm going to short out just one half of the bifilers. We're, we're at 70. Now it's shorted out. little sparks there. There, now now I've shorted out half of the bifilers. It's gone up to 140 milliamps. So it's not lens free. It 
and uh, let's put it, let's try a three UF run cap. Here's the three UF run cap, it goes up to 170. So still, even under load, it looks like the four is better. Let's try a five. Usually when you have a load, you want to raise the UF value, but I think the four is going to work better. Yeah, this, this is also at 170. Back to the four. This is the preferred cap size for this motor. So that's 140. Let's uh, short out the other half of the bifiler. Let's see what draw goes up to. Eyesight is not good anymore. Interesting. Very interesting. Now that doesn't make sense. It went down when I shorted out the other half of the bipilot. It went down. Huh. Oh, we'll look into that later. Okay, so what is the voltage? Just one half of these? Just a minute. Okay, the voltage is 42. On one half of the bifilers, 42 volts AC. And let's do the other half. It should be the same voltage. There we go. Yeah, same voltage in both. So those coils are good, and now let's uh, look at amperage. Wait one moment. Okay, amperage with one half of the bifilers is 470, 407 milliamps, and you know I just did a quick test and shorted out the other half and the draw did go down when you short out the other half as well isn't that strange so let's do it again yeah weird okay oh I see it must not be uh, in phase or something, because now I'm only making 223 volts, and I have both of these shorted out, so... I don't know. Okay, well, you get the picture about how much power it makes. Now, 42 volts, I really wanted to know how much volts eight, eight coils makes. So now I know it's at 8 coils, 42 volts, so it's about 5 volts per coil. So if I hook up 3 coils in series, uh, I should have 15 volts. And then another 3 
coils in series, and I can run those in parallel. And then there's two. So I don't know. Maybe I'll put four coils in series and then parallel them. And what I'd like to do is run an inverter with what I make from this. Okay, well, I guess that's enough. I'm kind of happy with how this goes. And thanks for watching.